Hello there, fellowship of the writer. Herbie here in South Korea. This is gonna be a bitter resp. Oh, first the housekeeping. I'm smoking one of my lovely Soren pipes. I love this pipe, so thank you very much. Pipe scratch. Um, smoking in it, what my secret Santa sent me. Uh, Tinderbox special. I love this tobacco, so thank you very much. Given right. Lighting it up with the sepo that PA5 uh, guy sent me. Thank you very much, Mike. And tamping it with my original Arista Cup tamper. That Scott sent me. Thank you very much, Scott. So no, this is not gonna be a video shout out of all the things you can enjoy being part of the YouTube Pad Presenters community, but rather a video response that I've been trying to to make for the couple the last couple of weeks, and it's a video response to Jay's video that he posted months ago. Uh, entitled "Walk in the Woods," I'm stupid, and how do you assume? In 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 which he asks, how do you assume? Uh, how do you assume people? You assume the good, the best, or the worst from people. And at the end of the video, I'm going to include some bloopers that uh, <laughs> that somehow, I mean. Uh, I haven't been able to finish this video. Uh, I will raise the question that Jay asks. Um, not only like, like, what do you expect from people, the good or the bad? You assume that they're gonna behave the best possible or the worst. Uh, but if my question will be, if there is anything else, uh, not anything else, but any event in your life that somehow either um, change you or or clearly mark you in that in in such a way that is somehow justifies your your viewpoint of expecting the best or the worst preparing for the worst or whatever so to answer that those questions I'll have to say first that um, oh time to change the flint I honestly always um, expect expect the, the best of people. I, I hope for the best. Really easily in my case, and to the to, to weirdest things. Uh, for example, uh, even when someone misbehaves, or I I even I don't know, like a politician, or. or or even the government or whatever um, there is a stupid rule or law I always try to think what will make me rationally logically get to that point and and, and make that decision or, 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 or have that attitude like what sort of actions will take me to a point in which that's what I would do and somehow empathizing with even if there's something that bugs me and, and, and might be annoying. Uh, okay, so disclaimer, it, it doesn't mean that I'm all saint and that I do that all the time. But I, I, I can tell that I honestly try unconsciously. So yes, absolutely, I, I'm a positive kind of guy in that sense. I expect uh, the best. Uh, not that I'm taking count or, or like having a list of how people behave uh, around me but I have that assumption now there is in fact a event in my life that actually changed me because I wasn't like that I was always very distrustful in And what happened was, um, when I was 15 or 16 years old, I was learning to uh, inline skating, and I couldn't afford a fancy, fancy skates. 
so I got really cheap ones that had really cheap wheels and if, if you have experience in line skating you'll know how important the wheels are there are a lot of things that are important in line skating the boot I mean everything but wheels are the cheapest factor that you can improve very easily of course I didn't have the money to to change them for a set of really high quality wheels uh, so I went to this place and they had a re really affordable wheels that were like rubber like so really smooth I tried them on and 10 seconds later the front wheel of my of my right in my right foot just broke I was like darn I went back to the store and I told the lady I was assuming like I was fuming and I was assuming that they would have trouble oh no problem and she changed them she changed that one actually oh great I put the, that one in, in the front 10 seconds later poof, again I thought oh I'm gonna be screwed they're not gonna return me the money they're gonna perhaps give me some store credit I, I wasn't interested in buying anything else there because well I couldn't afford anything else and the only thing that I would like to have was to change the wheels so I was expecting that I was like oh darn I'm gonna have such a headache and I went there not only the, the lady returned the money right away not I didn't even have to ask like oh no no problem I'm sorry she was very apologetic and um, but actually she gave me a set of wheels cheap ones but a set of wheels as a replacement uh, like I'm so sorry that that happened that changed me immediately it's like I'm such an ass how can I expect that from people and she being so nice I mean that what is wrong with me and I would say that that's a defining point in my life very early on in which I said like no I mean that's that's not the right way to look at life and look how people behave in general and that changed me To finish, I will um, include a set of bloopers of the attempts that I had before, and with that, I'll say, my friends, puff away. Hello there, fellowship of the Harvey here. This time from the car. <sighs> Talking about bloopers. <laughs> Hello there, Sherlock. So I figured out I figured out that if I could change those, that would be kind of cool. <sighs> Hello. And I realized how crappy I my way of thinking was and, and and i feel ashamed of myself and like why would i be expecting always the worst that that was terrible of me and even if somehow consciously or unconsciously you don't have an action that will project that i think there is a, a vibe that you actually project in that sense in come on seriously am i there um, this actually is gonna be my third, third or fourth attempt to respond to Jay's uh, video that he posted a while ago, months ago, about um, if you do, if you do, if you, gosh. Um, Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh, I, I'll have to check it out again. 